if you make digital notes or if you have a journal uh, where you could have sort of write down your thoughts then you can export your digital notes to a text file and then upload that to a large language model what you can then do is you can ask the large language model to read what you've written and get its advice or ask general questions about it so if you have notes in obsidian then this is a bit annoying because you'll have lots of different files and so large language models like ChatGPT will have a limit on how many files that you can add. But this is quite easy to get around where you can just export all of your notes into one file and then upload it to ChatGPT and then get it to ask about it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show an example of using a simple Python script that I've written to collect all the notes into one file and then upload it to ChatGPT. So if you go to uh, the GitHub repository um, in the description, then you'll see I've written this um, simple Python script uh, that takes in an input directory and gives out uh, a text file that's just all of the files in that directory recursively um, merged together. So if you if you clone this Git repository uh, into a sensible location, then uh, you can then uh, use it to compile your notes into a single file. So I don't have a, an Obsidian uh, vault on this laptop, but I do have some notes that I've written in LaTeX, uh, which I'm going to use here. So what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this directory in, into the GitHub repository that I've just cloned. Um, now this means that whatever this Python script does, it's not going to um, uh, mess with the, the notes that I have. And then I'm going to run uh, the script. So what I can run is Python. If I can type python merge.py. And then the, the script takes... Um, and then the script has... Uh, three inputs, which are the input directory, the output file, and the extensions that I want to, the extensions of the files that I want to combine. So if I, so for here, my directory that I want is slipbox. So you see, I have a load of notes um, in here. So I'll type merged up by slipbox. Um, And then you have to put a, uh, an output file and then the extension, so sort of the file extension that I want to, to combine. So what the script will do is it will look um, in this folder for all the notes, um, for all the, so it will look in this folder for all the files with the .tex file extension. If you wanted to add, if you wanted to look for um, multiple extensions, then you can just add um, more file extensions here. So if you typed, say, MT, then this would com com combine all of the files with text and markdown uh, extensions. But I'm just going to use the, the text extension and run this and get an error. Uh, so I'm not in the, in the right folder, so I'm going to uh, run this now. Um, and then what, what this has done is it's created a file which has all of the um, notes that I've written. Now, the, these are formatted in LaTeX, but that's perfectly fine, and ChatGPT can uh, read that. So now what I can do is I can open ChatGPT, and then I can uh, upload this document, and then I can say, read my notes and give me, uh, you know, you can type anything here and get um, ChatGPT to, uh, you know, and then you can get ChatGPT to give you some, uh, to, and then you can ask ChatGPT anything that you want about your note collections. So sometimes this is easier 
how to do so. If you use the, so sometimes um, some apps will let you uh, just export your um, data into one file. So this, um, I use day one to sort of keep a diary and uh, day one allows you to export um, into say plain text or markdown. Um, and then you can export your, uh, yeah, so from some apps it's easier to export into plain text. So this is how you can use ChatGPT to read uh, digital notes that you print. And so you can have a conversation with it about the things that you're working on um, uh, to get sort of more inspiration and things like that. So thanks for watching.